facts about your coffee you probably didn't know. Coffee, the magical drink of every morning. For most of us, the sun cannot rise without the smell of freshly brewed beans. Actually, they are technically seeds. Coffee beans are the cherry-like berries that you find in the flowering coffee shrubs. But it sounds weird to say coffee seeds, right? Coffee is the second most traded commodity in the world, but to health professionals, it is pretty controversial. Some swear by its many health benefits, others say it is terrible for your health. Well, coffee can have many health benefits for the body overall, but it also depends on how your body reacts to caffeine. So in this video, we'll talk about the ins and outs of coffee. Before we proceed, please note that everything mentioned in this video is unbiased, fact-checked, and reviewed by qualified health professionals. With that said, let's jump in and talk about 12 facts about coffee you probably didn't know. Number 1. Coffee may lower the risk of type 2 diabetes. Some studies indicate that drinking coffee regularly could be related to a decreased risk of developing type 2 diabetes in the long term. For example, according to a study led by the Harvard School of Public Health researchers, people who drank more than one cup of coffee over a four-year period had an 11% lower risk of developing type 2 diabetes than those who drank just one cup of coffee daily. Another study showed that the coffee compound cafestol could improve the type 2 diabetes markers in mice. While more research is needed, coffee looks like it can impact insulin sensitivity, inflammation, and metabolism. Number 2. Coffee might decrease the risk of developing Parkinson's disease. Preliminary studies have shown a positive link between caffeine consumption and a low risk of Parkinson's disease. A 2017 meta-analysis indicated that regular coffee consumption can lower the risk of Parkinson's disease, even among smokers. The study also suggested that regular coffee drinkers are less likely to suffer from depression or other cognitive conditions, such as Alzheimer's disease. However, more research is needed on this topic. Number 3. Coffee increases your fiber intake. Some studies suggest that 100 milliliters of brewed coffee contains up to 0.75 grams of dietary fiber, so one or two cups of coffee can bring you even closer to reaching your recommended daily fiber intake. Drinking coffee can also help burn fat and achieve your desired weight. However, you shouldn't rely only on coffee for fiber or you will be sleepwalking tonight. Some high fiber foods include dried fruits, apples, avocados, berries, beans, broccoli, etc. Consider a healthy and balanced diet. Liking our video so far? Before we move on to the next fact, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on our new informative videos. Number 4. Coffee supports brain health and power. Usually you put a little bit of sugar in your cup of coffee, right? Well, it seems that the combination of caffeine and glucose could act as stimulants for your central nervous system and trigger the release of adrenaline. As a result, your heartbeat will increase, your blood pressure will rise, and you'll get an extra energy boost. Therefore, it will help improve your attention and concentration power. So after lunch, when you're feeling in a little bit of a slump, coffee can boost your brain power and get you out of that concentration dip. It's also important to mention the 11 observational studies involving more than 29,000 people, which suggested that coffee consumption can lower the risk of Alzheimer's disease. In addition to that, several other studies suggest a positive link between moderate coffee consumption and lower risks of dementia or cognitive decline. Well, coffee might not make you smarter, but it can help in your efforts to become smarter. Number 5. Coffee has almost no calories. According to the USDA, 100 grams of coffee contains about 0.5 kilocalorie and no fat. However, we like to dress up our coffee with extra ingredients such as sugar, whipping cream, milk, etc. This is why some coffee drinks can end up having hundreds of calories. For example, Starbucks Tasty Frappuccinos pack up to 400 to 500 calories per serving. Even a white chocolate mocha is about 400 calories. 
So if you're really fighting to lose weight, you might want to skip these Starbucks delicacies and go for plain black coffee with just a little bit of sugar or other types of sweeteners. Number six, the legend says coffee can make goats dance. Well, this is not exactly a health benefit, but it won't hurt to know the central legend about coffee. Apparently, the first person who acknowledged the effects of coffee was an Ethiopian goat herder named Kaldi. He discovered the potential of coffee beans when he noticed that his goats would become overly energetic after eating the coffee berries. The goat herder reported his discovery to the local monastery, and the abbot made a drink with the mentioned berries. He discovered the brew made him stay alert during the long hours of the evening prayers and through the night. Needless to say, this is just a legend, and we can't know for sure if coffee can indeed make goats even more energetic than they are. But it's the central legend related to coffee, and it's worth knowing, especially if you're an avid coffee lover. So, ready for fact number seven? Here it comes. Number seven, coffee can reduce the risk of gout. Gout is a type of arthritis that affects the joints, causing them to swell, stiffen, and turn red. Of course, it is also painful. Gout is caused by hyperuricemia, which indicates too much uric acid in the body. Uric acid is a byproduct of purine, a chemical compound that occurs naturally in the body. Research has shown that coffee can lower uric acid levels. It can increase the rate at which your body excretes uric acid by competing with the enzymes that break down purines in the body. One study has shown that drinking one to three cups of coffee lowered the gout risk by 8%. Increasing the dose to four or five cups a day dropped the gout risk by 40%. While more studies are needed on this topic, we can safely assume the preliminary results are really positive. Number eight, coffee can help you lose weight. The struggle of losing weight is real, and we know it. According to recent research, coffee can help by altering fat storage and supporting gut health. For example, 12 studies concluded that a high intake of coffee could be linked to reduce body fat in men and women. According to another study we found, people who drank one or two cups of coffee per day were 17% more likely to perform certain physical activities at optimum levels. So yeah, coffee can really improve your energy levels and physical performance. More physical activities lead to burning more calories, which leads to losing weight faster. You see, they're all connected. Number nine, it can reduce the risks of chronic liver disease. A 2019 literature review showed that coffee could reduce the risk of liver cancer. According to another 2015 study conducted in the United States, the participants who drank two to three cups of coffee daily showed lower risks of developing hepatocellular carcinoma. We have found even more research papers that showed a positive connection between coffee consumption and reduced risks of liver cancer or cirrhosis. Consuming all types of coffee might really offer protection against CLD. With so many studies on the matter, we might be able to safely assume that coffee provides some health benefits for the liver. But warning guys, do not drink tons of coffee just because you think it might make your liver like new. Take care of your liver first. Number 10, coffee might help fight depression. Today's good mood is sponsored by coffee. Some studies suggest that coffee's anti-inflammatory properties may decrease depression. How? Well, caffeine is believed to block the mood-depressing chemicals in the brain from binding with a chemical called adenosine, which acts as a neuronal depressant. So when the blues hit, try to pour yourself a big cup of coffee, look up to the sky, and soak up the sun. If that doesn't help, you may want to see a specialist. Depression is a serious thing. Number 11, it could improve your immune system. The energy-boosting caffeine effect may also aid your immune system, making it stronger and healthier. Coffee contains phenolic compounds with a rich health-promoting antioxidant activity. However, you may want to stick to the natural ground coffee type. Instant coffee might contain chemical additives that are not so good. So may your coffee be fresh and natural and your morning be bright and productive. With enough coffee, nothing is impossible. Don't you agree? Now that we've talked about exciting health benefits and facts about coffee, we will dedicate the last point on our list to the main types of coffee. Curious what they might be? Number 12, the two main types of coffee. 
While there are over 100 coffee species out there, the two main ones that are produced and sold all over the globe are Coffee Arabica and Cafea Robusta. Arabica is the most popular of them all, primarily because of taste. Robusta is bitter because it contains almost two times more caffeine. The extra caffeine in the Robusta coffee acts as a natural defense mechanism against insects and other parasites. So Robusta is easier to farm and tend to. This is why it is also generally less expensive than Arabica. Which one is your favorite? Well, you probably don't know that because nowadays coffee makers might blend the two. For example, Italian espresso beans contain Robusta coffee because it improves the crema. Yes, coffee is a science in itself. Sometimes coffee is real magic. So if your body responds well to coffee, you shall enjoy all the health benefits it brings. Have your cup of coffee in the morning and enjoy a productive day. Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos like this one. Thanks for watching. Your wellness is our mission.